this is uh, right now for Bonnie because she is having a Clorox wipe crisis emergency with lead chips on her windowsill. But <clears throat> maybe we'll do this again later. In the meantime, I'm like suffering from pleurisy and just rolled out of bed so that I could show you how to do this. It's pretty easy though. One thing that's most important is that Clorox wipe have surfactants in them. Surfactants are bad if you're an environmentalist, but good if you want to pick up lead dust. So it's a compromise that a lot of us environmentalists have to deal with because they're the best thing to pick up lead dust. And the nice thing about Clorox wipes a lot of people don't realize is that they're bleach free. So even though they're bad and they're in a plastic container, they are bleach free and they have the surfactants required to pick up lead dust. Now the most important thing when you are picking up lead dust with a Clorox wipe um, the great thing is, one, that they are disposable. The second thing is, you, you wipe in one direction, you fold it in half, you wipe in the same direction, whoops, fold it in half, wipe in the same direction, fold it in half in on itself, wipe in the same direction, fold it in half in on itself, wipe in the same direction, fold it off half in on itself, wipe in the same direction, and then throw it out. I'm going to do that one more time, because my son was screaming in the background, wipe in the same direction, fold it in half in on itself, wipe it in the same direction, fold it half in on itself, wipe in the same direction, and then the other trick is that you try and focus on a one or two foot square area um, until the wipes come up completely clean. This? Um, that's my husband interrupting now. Um, oh, and when the wipes are come up completely clean, then you know you've cleaned the area. That's a windowsill, that's a floor, whatever. And the great thing is that you throw these out afterwards. You can wear gloves if you want to, you wash your hands afterwards. But um, if you do that until it's completely clean, and always make sure going in the same direction, and always make sure you fold it on itself, it should end up uh, lead-free. We did this in our home when our kids were poisoned, and it worked. Thank you. Turn off now.